Hi everyone, so this is a second video for the third lesson. Um, I've lost. Wrong for. There. Lost my pen. There we go. Right, so, is it going to do it? Yeah. Oh, it's looking a bit dodgy, this one. So if you look at this one, it's minus x squared. The others have been plus x squared. So it's going to be an N-shaped curve when we do it. But I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to put it in as I see it. So in poly, I'm going to put minus 1, 10, minus 21. What we used to do is put it all on the other side and make it positive so it's a U-shape. Now, if I do that, it gets me X's. Ah, it's caught up with me now. No, it hasn't. Uh, I've got X is 3. And X is 7. There. So I've got to remember now it's an N shape. So just be careful with that. So 3 and 7. So there's my 3. There's my 7. So I'm looking for below. I'm going to change colour. There. I'm looking for below because that's what the last one is saying. Below. So I've solved it, graphed it. Now I need to identify it. So where the graph is below the x-axis is here. So I'm looking at x is less than or equal to 3, or x is greater than or equal to 7. And to complete it properly, x belongs to the reals such that there. That one's done. Let me switch over to the um, select, and then I can remove that. So you can have a look at that one. With that one, be a little bit careful because they've been a bit cheeky and they put it in the wrong order. So that one, so we'll put a pen back on. There. So that one, I'd see it as minus x squared plus 7x plus 30. So greater than zero. So in poly, I'd have minus 1, 7, 30. You can see, look, it's a, an N-shaped curve. There's your, your minus 3. They call them, well, well the person who personally wrote this calls them critical values. Well, it's just the roots, isn't it? So if you see CVs, it means critical values. <clears throat> so, so that's that one done. So look at the next page. Do I have to do this one? Yeah, I do. So this is a nice one because you want to see where there's an overlap between them. Oops. I'm trying to do like a recognize bit. So I've got my pen on still. Oh, come on, pen. Go purple. So if I put in poly, one minus, minus one, minus six, I get x is minus two. X is 3, so we draw a picture. So minus 2 and 3. I'm not even bothered with any of the y axes on these, haven't I? Maybe I should go back and put all my y axes in. I'm looking for greater than. Greater than. So I know looking at this picture, I've got x is less than minus 2. Oh, come on, it keeps moving it around. Or. X is greater than 3. Sorry about that random little bit there. Can't get rid of it. So that's where my angle, but I'm looking for this overlap here. So I've got a linear one here to, to do. So I'm just going to take the 2x over there. We'll take the 5 over. So I've got 10 minus 5. So I've got 5 over 2. So that's there. I remember that in inequality, you always read from the x. So what that's really saying is x is greater than or equal to 2.5. Let me put 5 over 2 there. there. So all over the overlap bit, if you look at this bit here now, all I want is from, so that one goes from 5 over 2 onwards there. Oh, this tablet's messing up. <laughs> from 5 over 2 onwards. So the actual overlap where they both work, because they both have to work. 